A platform is a collection of database files that are loaded within Vehicle Spy to provide information about messages. A platform can be used to create transmit messages that send data in a particular format, or receive messages that decode data read in from the network. In this video, we will learn how to create a platform for an AutoSAR database file. First, we will start by selecting a platform, creating a new platform, add an ARXML database file to the Ethernet platform, and finally, view platform database messages. We will start by selecting a platform. The current platform is always displayed in a drop-down box at the top of Vehicle Spy 3. To change the current platform, simply select the one you want from the box. vSpy will automatically load its associated databases. Choosing the default platform None will unload all databases. The two buttons to the right of the drop-down box are used to set up databases for a platform and to save pending platform changes respectively. Let's make a new platform that we can use for working with Ethernet. First, select Setup Platforms from the Setup menu. A dialog box appears to allow you to work with platforms. To add an Ethernet platform, click the Add button. Enter the name Ethernet and press Enter. Click OK to exit Platform Setup. Vehicle Spy will create your new Ethernet platform and also set the current platform to Ethernet. You should see this in the drop-down box at the top of vSpy now. We have our platform created, but it is currently empty. So we will now want to add a database to it. Vehicle Spy 3 offers many ways of doing this, but we will focus on doing this via an AutoSAR database file, which uses the ARXML format. For this demonstration, we are using a custom example file. You should have your own database file you can substitute. To enter Network Database Setup, first select Network Databases from the Setup menu or click the Database button next to the Platform Selection drop-down box. The Network Databases view opens with the list of networks on the left and tabs along the top corresponding to different methods of adding databases. Click ARXML Support tab and assign an ARXML file to the platform by clicking the ARXML button. The ARXML import dialog box appears to allow you to select ARXML files and associate clusters with vSpy networks. Click the Add ARXML File button and navigate to the folder containing your .arxml file and select it. Vehicle Spy will show the name of the file in the file list in the top half of the screen and list the clusters it references in the cluster network list in the bottom half. Double click in the cell under Vehicle Spy Network for the clusters that were loaded and choose which networks you want to associate with each one. After making the appropriate network assignments, press the close button. Vehicle Spy will now load the database in the ARXML file and prompt you to save the changes you have made to your platform. Press either of the flashing buttons to save the changes to your platform. Now that your platform is set up, we want to view the platform database messages. Platform database messages appear within the database area of the messages editor, where they can be copied to quickly make transmit or receive messages. To see the messages, select the messages editor from the spy networks menu. Click the drop down box next to the words on network in the blue header. Scroll down until you find the ethernet entry, then select it. To select the database messages, press the database button. You can now view your database messages that you can use with your Ethernet network. To learn more about Vehicle Spy 3 and see more tutorials, please visit intrepidcs.com/vspy or subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch the new tutorial.